Boise State has a one-of-a-kind machine to help research semiconductor production. The university unveiled that machine last week. Our Jude Binkley got a look and spoke to the university about how it's going to help Idaho stay at the forefront of the semiconductor industry. Jude? Well, Hunter, no other university in the United States has a machine like this that can make semiconductor film the size of just atoms. With the new semester days away, there's more than just new students on Boise State's campus this year. This system is actually quite unique uh, for, for the nation. The university just unveiled a new semiconductor machine. It's a system to deposit uh, very thin, atomically precise semiconductor films on wafers. This whole system uh, precisely controls different variables such as uh, injection gas flow, temperature, pressure, in order to set conditions so that these semiconductor crystals will assemble on the surface of our wafer. The machine is able to grow semiconductor film that's just a few atoms thick through a chemical reaction process and will help make new materials that can replace silicone in semiconductors. This will allow the university to help address challenges that are impacting energy consumption by data centers right, um, and artificial intelligence. Uh, it'll help us develop microelectronics that can survive in the extremes of space or in nuclear reactors. The machine is a first of its kind at a U.S. university. We're just really excited to bring it to Idaho and support the, the workforce development for the semiconductor industry. Bringing more opportunities to students and opportunities for Idaho to be on the cutting edge of semiconductor production. It kind of bridges that gap between academia. Um, it is an industrial tool, so um, any discoveries we make on here can be applied to industry. The ability to have students trained on this type of equipment uh, will support uh, you know, folks like Micron or uh, other semiconductor companies to advance their technologies. And the university says they're also interested in using this machine to help support defense electronics. This was funded by the U.S. Air Force and also how the university and students can really work with researchers across the nation to help them make new devices. Yeah, it's great to see that partnership help them through Micron through their mm -hmm. expansion along with just staying competitive out there. Yeah, absolutely. Jude, thank you.